How's it going guys? And in this video, we're gonna be looking at our Arduino proximity sensor and seven segment display controller project. And now I've added these two things together so that we can get a real time uh, estimate as to the distance between our proximity sensor and uh, an object like this little paperclip box I've got here. And we've got our seven segment display wired up to Arduino as well as the proximity sensor. So now this Arduino is only hooked up to the power and all the logic to doing this is living on the chip itself, which is pretty cool. And as you can see, this uh, display or the proximity sensor itself um, does get noise. So, you know, lack of insulation in these wires or, you know, other ultrasonic waves that can hit the receiver on a proximity sensor, which is that guy right there, can make it uh, underestimate the time it took for the actual intended wave to make it its way back. But overall, if we move this guy closer and closer, you can see that it is fairly accurate, um, you know, and uh, as we continue to get closer, uh, it is good. And because this is only a one digit display, it can only show up to nine centimeters, but these things can obviously go farther if we had, uh, you know, four segment display like this, um, but that would be a lot more wires uh, for this. And it's just a little demo right now. But um, as we can see, we just keep on moving this guy closer and closer. And um, I will say that in full transparency, there is a range at which this no longer works. So like once we get in um, kind of too close to this guy, uh, around three centimeters is where uh, we can see a lot of stuff kind of begin to freak out and it just isn't really accurate anymore. So um, beyond this, it's not really the greatest at uh, measurements. So the range for this particular thing, I would say is between three and then for our purposes, because it can only really read out to nine centimeters. Um, it's between three and nine centimeters. If we upgraded the display, we could obviously have a bit more uh, stuff here. So um, that's how all this hardware is working. And um, in terms of the code, I'll post all this stuff on GitHub so you guys can download it and change it and do whatever you'd like with it. Um, but, you know, as with any seven segment display here, each one of these seven segments corresponds to a letter and that letter corresponds to a pin. So like segment A is going to be that top segment right there. And in my case, that's going on to pin four. And we're doing this for the others as well. Um, and then we, for our actual proximity sensor, I'm using pins two and three as the trigger and echo pins. So that's basically, um, you know, the, the, it's calculating the time it takes for the ultrasonic wave to make its way back to the uh, receiver from the transmitter. Um, and then I'm using the new ping, uh, library with the, uh, new ping class right here. And we're creating an object, uh, because it's a really cool library and I appreciate it. Um, and yeah, I'm just finding those pins as outputs. And then I have a switch statement and a, a function in my C++ code that we're uploading to our Arduino um, to actually take in uh, a given integer and then display that integer based on a uh, an array that I've created or defined inside of this function. Um, so basically it's just doing this for all 10 of the possibilities I can expect between zero and nine. Um, and then I've also got some other logic for testing all the separate lights. Um, and so basically every 500 milliseconds, um, it is going to uh, have the transmitter transmit a wave, listen to the echo, and depending on that time, uh, it's going to tell us what it thinks the distance is between it. So um, yeah, you can see it working. I think it's just really cool stuff. And now it's all fully contained on the Arduino itself. Um, and so you can just add some power to this guy and watch it do its work. And yeah, so I'm going to put all this again on GitHub. <laughs> Feel free to play around with this stuff. And thank you all for watching. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll talk to you guys next time.